So I had a viewer, Kevin, tell me that there was another guy that did a video because this rear shock wasn't working like it should. And I suspected that it wasn't because even having V jump up and down, the thing barely moved like this much. Boy, it don't move much. Yeah, and I'm fat. So he loosened these up and sure enough that fixed it. That means it's tightening against the standoff that's behind there. So I think I want to take this apart because I loosened this and now that moves pretty easily. That's the way it should work. Oh. I see. See there's the problem. That should technically be sticking out a little past this. Same thing on this, I didn't put it in yet, but that's definitely a problem. These should be longer by a few millimeters. If you tighten that up, it's tightening it up against that, so it's not going to allow it. So these are too short. I did notice that there is one that's longer than the other, and that one's really close. It's such a close tolerance. Just shave the paint off of these. Definitely want to keep it flat. Just a couple thousandths on each side. Make sure the longer pin is in this center hole, because this has no washers on this one. Just that small amount of paint makes it bind up. Put a dab of grease on there too. Even that's very tight, fitting in there. I know it's only pushing up and down. That floats nicely in there. Make sure you put the longer bolt through. It feels a little better. I'll tighten this up. Now look, see how nice and loose that floats in there? That's what you want. It's nice and loose. Look at that too. As that goes down, it pulls on that fender, huh? <laughs> I'm going to take that off. I was wondering what that noise was. I'm sure that's binding the suspension too. Look at that. It goes quite a ways, huh? Already broke itself off. There, look at that. Of course it's not supposed to go that much. But now it's floating good. See how far in that is? What's going on? What's up? That's it. Uh, I've seen the video. Uh oh, what's going on in the shop? I had Vinny jumping up on down on it and it only looked like it was barely moving. Boy, it don't move much. Yeah, and I'm fat. I'm like, well, that does, that's not right. One of the guys that watched me on YouTube said he saw somebody else say that there was, these were tight. I think you're right. You're probably better off just putting it on there, put some Loctite, and just. Yep. Make it so it's just snug, and then you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, Loctite would work. Even silicone, just something to stop the thread from vibrating out. You know, some RTV sealant. Let's see if all the hard work paid oh, yeah. off. Let me get squash it out. Oh yeah, perfect. Nice. Yeah. Do it 270 over. pounds. 270. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, before it wouldn't move at all with Vinny jumping on it. Wow. Thanks, Jeffro. Yeah, he did a foot Now you try it. Get on there. Yeah. How much you weigh? 150. 150. <laughs> Go ahead. That's about all we'll do with Vinny <laughs> before. <it>. <laughs> <laughs> Just about 103 and a half, and I slid into the firehouse park lot, and Ralphie give me a beer. All right. I took it for a little ride. You can definitely feel the suspension's working a lot better. So that's the fix. I just took a piece of rubber and put that back because this was making some noise. I noticed that slot is supposed to be loose, but when it was assembled, that was tightened. So I guess that's where it's supposed to slide up and down.
that should work. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.